Good morning, my love. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, January 25th. I am starting my weekly vlog for you guys. So I'm thinking I'm going to do it from Monday to Friday because I want to post it by Friday. So I'm going to try to make it work like that. So it's not going to be a full week. It's going to be like a work week <laughs> type of. Um, all right. So this week I am starting to work out again. It's been about two months and change since I last worked out. I was taking a break and then I continued the break a little too long, if you know what I mean. So I decided to, um, to start this week. All right, so I am on my computer right now with my little boob Looney Tunes. Hi, Looney Tunes. Hi, Luna. Hi, baby. Okay, so I decided to, I'm on Beachbody. This is the program that I usually uh, use. I paid for the year, so, you know. So I'm going to do a PO workout. PIO, PO, PIO, I don't know how you call them. PIO is a mix of Pilates and yoga. And it's, it's nice and for me, it's like a good way to get back into working out. This girl here, she does really good um, really good uh, workouts that are not too slow they still you still have a nice rhythm to them you know so I think it's the perfect class to start I'm gonna I want to do it 25 minutes and I would like to work my core and my glutes I'm not sure if she has a workout that works both but upper body sweat Let's see. There's an upper body here, there's a sweat here, lower body, but I want mid and lower core. Oh, you see the core I did already. Maybe I should do it again. Strength interval, trench, sculpt, buns. See, there's a two in it. <laughs> when I work out, I like to work on my core and my butt. Um, 30 minutes for buns and then, you know what, let me start with the core. Let's start with... The beginning. Let's start with the center of the body. Okay, now we're gonna do three. Here we go. Down, two, three, flex. Down, two, three, flex. Down, two, three, flex. Reach and crunch. It goes fast. You ready? Reach and crunch. Reach and crunch. So I'm trying to make it a little more difficult by looking behind my shoulder, but if that forces you to get off balance. You can keep your eyes fixed forward. Okay, it turns into a kick. Here we go, we call it a punter. Back, back, kick, back, kick. All right, my love, my first workout is done. Feels good, feels good to be back. Um, yeah, definitely feels good. My body is not that far off. I think that I kept a lot of muscle mass. I'm very happy. Um, and it's just going uphill from here. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna try to do another workout if I am if I don't have a booking in the city. If not, well, I'll push it to Wednesday. Um, okay, back on mommy duty. I need to wash my hair. My scalp is like so itchy right now. It's a day four. As soon as there's sweat on my scalp, it's a wrap. That's why I've been liking not working out so much because I don't have to wash my hair so much, you know? So that's gonna be interesting. But um, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try not to wash my hair as much as I usually do. But yeah, I can't deal with sweat on my skin. It's just not, it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. Okay, back to mommy duty. I'll see you guys later. Good morning, my loves. It is currently Tuesday morning. Um, I'm getting ready to do my second workout of the week. Um, yeah, it's gonna be another Payo workout, Pilates yoga workout on Beach Body. This time I'm doing a total body. Yesterday I just, I just did the core to get me back in the groove. I'm a tad bit sore from yesterday, but you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm going for something a little bit more intense. I'm going to put it up a notch. Uh, no fittings today, uh, but probably going to have a fitting tomorrow in the city and I'll bring you guys along with me. 
and then uh, today, today I am filming. I'm gonna be filming. I have to film. Nigel is on daddy duty right now, doing schoolwork with Ella. So I have time for me to do what I need to do, and I need to get started right now. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and yeah, that's that. Are we ready? All right. Two hands up. This, my friends, is what the first meal of the day looks like. I am not going to talk anymore because your girl is starving. I am just going to enjoy. Alright, my loves, I am all done filming my videos. I was able to film two videos today. One on uh, one is a little get ready with me, where I show you how I do this. A simple stay at home but feel good look uh, a little bit of makeup you know I did my hair real quick and the second video is about understanding your your hair type um, I think like I was having a conversation actually with um, one of you guys on Instagram we were exchanging on how complex this whole porosity and density and this and curl pattern and all that is complicated and that actually inspired me to make a video where i break it down for you and where you know i make it so that you can understand your hair type and how that will affect uh, how you style your hair and what product you put into your hair so I'm very excited about this video and I want to thank you guys so much for being such a great source of inspiration for me. You know, it's like, it's really cool. I really enjoy this community a lot. Thank you for that, you guys. All right, so what's next for me today? I have two macrames that you can see here that I, in my little mess area right here, those two macrames are an order from uh, for a friend of mine for one for her one for her friend uh and there's another one that i did for another friend of hers and uh, i'm gonna make them for her right now i'm gonna start this and then i will take pictures of them and i'm gonna put them on my website i think i'm gonna start making more macrame and sell them if you guys are interested in getting any of my macrame creations i will link it in the um, description box uh, I'll, I'll make them available in my store. It's a great gift uh, for a friend or just for you, for your house. Uh, I have one on my wall right here. The ones that I'll be selling are, I want to say medium size. That's a large in my book. 
Um, let me get closer so I can show you, but you've seen it. It's in my, it's on most of my videos. It's a little dark here, but this is, this is a large. I'm not sure I'm gonna do a lot of those because they are, they take a lot more time to make. Um, I'll show you when I'm done with this, the medium size. But a medium size is pretty much, it's pretty much gonna be that big. That's straight. <laughs> it's hard to make it straight. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you when I'm done. Um, I'm going to go for today because I have, I'm going to be on mommy duty. I'm going to let Nigel, uh, I'm going to release Nigel from his duty, duties. And um, yeah, I'm going to go. I think it's enough for today. I will see you guys tomorrow for a new day. Uh, we're probably going to be going in the city. I have to check for my bookings actually. All right, you guys see you tomorrow. Wednesday, January 27th. I am just done with my fitting. I'm about to leave the office. It is so empty because of COVID. A lot of people are working from home. Um, actually, I can take that out because there's nobody in that in the thing with me. <sighs> Oxygen. All right, I'm not supposed to be filming like that. So I'm just gonna say a quick, I just wanted to say a quick hi. I have about an hour to kill until my next ferry. I'm gonna grab something to eat. And then I think I wanna go to bars and nobles real quick. And then and that's that. The Bars and Nobles end up, ended up being a little bit further away than what I thought. So I'm running late for my ferry. I decided to take a cab uh, rather than run and catch the subway and be all stressed out. Hopefully this cab is going to get me there on time. Or we'll see. If not, I'm going to have to wait another hour for the next ferry. So hopefully we'll be, we'll be there on time. I think we will. I think we will. Alright, in the meantime, let me show you what I got at Bars and Nobles. I got this cute, this pretty little um, bullet journal. I wanted to get one, but you know, I wasn't sure what, what to get. And um, I decided for this one. It's pretty simple. If you guys followed one of my live streams, know that I said that this year I decided to start journaling so I'm gonna try to use this and see how it works for me I already started to use planners which changes my life <laughs> I get so much more accomplished when you get so much more accomplished when you plan things it's ridiculous um, I'll show you once we get home if I don't have too much work to do with Ella um, but yeah, I started to just just planning, just using a regular planner uh, and write things down, things that I have to do every day and, uh, and I get them done faster. There's less procrastination, you know? But yeah. Alright, let's see if I get there on time. Cross the fingers for me. <laughs> How big is the window? How much space does the window take? What is the area of the window? A equals... Length times width. Two, 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 two equals four. Okay. 
what is the area of the whole thing with the window, the door and the window. Oh. L equals. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay. So here put four. My loves. Okay, so as you can see, I made it home. We just finished math. We're taking a little chocolate day because we just heard from the teacher that it is National, National Chocolate, chocolate Day. day. <laughs> so we're eating, we chocolate. we're eating some chocolate. And then I will be doing my macrame order for my friend. And, uh, and then I can't wait to show you the picture of it. <laughs> um, and then what? Well, we're taking a little break right now. I already did my homework. Yeah, you're done with homework. Now you have to do, what is it called? I ready, which is exercises. Oh, I'm so sore. <laughs> I am sore. It's official. I'm back into my workouts. Life is good. I don't think I said hi to you yet today. <laughs> it's been a busy morning so far. I am all said and done doing my hair. I'm gonna let it fluff up a little bit. I'm gonna grab some lunch because your girl's hungry. It's way past lunchtime. It's like 2 p.m. already. Um, Ella's taking a break and then uh, once I'm done eating or maybe while I'm eating I'm gonna finish uh, I'm gonna finish her math. I'm gonna help her do math. And voila. Um, All right, my love, it's been two hours. Uh, it's past 4 p.m. already. We're finally done with Ella's schoolwork. Um, the sun is setting already. And I, 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 I have to edit two videos, uh, schedule one, and I have to finish one of the two macramés that I had to do. Actually, let me show you the one that I did last night. There's not a lot of light in the house, but Let's see if the camera can catch this. Voila, this is the macrame I did last night. And I have to do the other one. It's right here. This one I'm doing tonight and I will be sending them, if not tomorrow, Saturday. Um, yeah, so that's that. I think I'm also going to take pictures of them and I'm going to post them on my website. Did I tell you that earlier this week? I probably did. Um, and I think I'm going to put them on sale on my website. If you guys are interested in getting a macrame from me, they're pretty small, you know, they're small size. Um, and it's a great gift or a great thing to add in your house as a little decor. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, what else? Come here. We have a new family member. I'm not sure if I introduced you to her yet. Her name is Misty. She is six months old and it's Ella's little puppy. Hi, Misty. Ah! She is, we call her Mischief because <laughs> she pees and poops on carpets everywhere. Well, we don't have carpets, we have rugs. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, she had me clean the floor twice a week, twice a day, every day for the past two weeks. Stop. Loving it! Ooh. But she's doing better with the wee wee pad. Luna is being such a nice dog. Well, she's not the mothery type of dog. She's 10 years old. Actually, actually her birthday on, was on the 26th. On Tuesday, it was Luna's 10th birthday. We were going to celebrate it on the weekend, so yeah. yeah. We're gonna do that this weekend. She and know um, what's coming. Yeah, 
that's that as far as my workout uh this morning you saw that i did a little workout i pretty much did the same workout as i did on day one or on day two i think it was it's the core workout so i did that one a second time um and it's funny because i'm a little bit more sore today than i've been throughout the week and it was harder actually for me to do the exercises but I did them better, I had better posture, better hold, but I could barely finish them because I was the soreness was too much. So I'm gonna keep going through the weekend and then next week I'm gonna go a notch higher. I'm gonna do a harder exercise. I'm gonna do more intense workouts. All right, those two want to play and when they play, they make a lot, a lot of noise. So I'm gonna go and edit my video. Okie dokie. Good morning, sunshines. It is currently Friday morning. Um, I had a rough night last night. Uh, Misty woke me up at 3.30 a.m., poop on the carpet. I had to clean it up and then I couldn't fall back asleep afterwards. Woke up at 7-ish. It's been hard and I don't do good on a few hours of sleep. I'm the type of person who needs... I need good sleep, you know, especially when I'm going to spend the day in pain. Um, I'm bringing you guys with me. We're going to a tattoo appointment. I am getting a under boob right here, little flower, and he's going to work on one of my tattoos that I recently got. Not from him, because if I did get it from him, if I was a good girl and waited and got it from him, I would have not have to get it redone but it is what it is it was our anniversary tattoo i booked it with a different artist and uh, nigel's tattoo is absolutely gorgeous but mine is not gorgeous anyhow um so my hair is done i refreshed my curls they're popping like nobody's business it is super duper cold outside hence uh why i took out my saint james um real French people know um, this is like the warmest sweater made in France by the French people um, it's actually uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier was inspired by this uh, sweater not this one particularly but this style from this brand for the story um, and then what else was I gonna say see when I don't sleep it's already naturally it's already hard for me to get my thoughts together and find right words to talk in English but when I'm missing hours of sleep it's even harder <laughs> okay first I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna go I don't want to rush I don't want to be late so I'm gonna leave at noon I'm not sure exactly what time it is right now um, I'm gonna leave at noon and then voila okay let's go I think the next time you'll see me will be at the tattoo parlor uh, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film in there because I didn't even tell him that I was vlogging so it's gonna be on the low low but I'll film what I can um, and then uh, worst case scenario tomorrow I'll show you the end result or tonight depending on how I feel I think that after four hours of being in pain I'm gonna be pretty knocked out tonight <laughs> okay I'll see you guys later
Good morning, my loves. How are you guys doing? It is Saturday morning. It is 8.30 a.m., I believe. I was cleaning up a little bit upstairs. I am. Uh, I watered the plants because they needed. They needed it. The, the air is so dry in the house. I apologize if my speech is not as good, but I noticed since yesterday that my dyslexia is off the track lately. Can't find my words. Can't find my. I'm mistaking, I can write, it's just, I don't know what's going on, maybe I just need to rest. I think it's because I didn't have a good night of sleep the night before. did better tonight, but, you know, it is what it is. Listen, I'm not going to complain, right? Um, the weather is absolutely gorgeous, the sun is shining, uh, but it is 25 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 10 celsius something like that i'm not sure it's freaking freezing outside <laughs> yesterday was the worst man yesterday was so cold oh my goodness um talking about yesterday i did clean my forearm tattoo this morning and put a little bit of cream what's the cream i use but anyway i'm going to show it to you because because it is uh it is day daylight and you can see it better Oh, I need food, really. That's what I need. So this tattoo, this triangle here, is uh, Nigel Nye's anniversary tattoo or 15th anniversary. He also got a triangle with a wave inside, which totally represents him. He's a surfer. He was from Barbados. Like That's Nigel, 100%. This tattoo looks amazing on him. Um, we did it in a place in Soho. Apparently a famous place, a tattoo place in Soho. The place was absolutely gorgeous. People were super nice. Fortunately, the artist, I didn't really like uh, the end result on my tattoo. So I went back to my guy. Um, again, he's in for, I really want to promote him because he's so good. Um, he's really good. Like you guys, this is him. This here is him. Okay. He's no joke. Um, he just opened his place, like I said yesterday, probably, but I went back to him and was like, you know what? I realized after doing this tattoo back in November that I don't think I can go to anybody else to get tattoos. <laughs> I think that for the first time in my life, I'm, I'm the type of girl who gets tattoos through the life, through my life. Uh, I like to get tattoos in different cities. Um, you know, I like to get tattooed to mark certain time of my life. Like it's a very, uh, a ritual for me, right? Not always, but most of the time. And for the first time I felt like, I'm like, okay, I think I've found that person that I, no matter what he's going to tattoo on me, I will like it that because I just like his style. This is so important. I am planning on finishing my arm at some point. And um, and he's the one. He's definitely the one who's going to do that for me. Um, so that's that. Oh, and my tattoo, uh, my anniversary tattoo is uh, also a triangle. Um, and the tri I, I choose triangle because, well, first, Nigel was... I wanted to match Nigel. And um, as far as my sign, I'm a Leo. Um, my sign is fire, sun. And in alchemy, alchemy, the triangle upwards or downwards, I can't remember, symbolize the fire, which is totally me. And this tattoo, if I look at it, the triangle goes upward. If my arm is down, it goes downwards, so I don't really care <laughs> if it's upward or downwards. I know that at some point I have my symbol of fire in there. And the flower inside is supposed to represent um, a flower called Nigella. Uh, and that's a flower for my for my husband. So, voila, that's the symbol behind it. Now, the underboob tattoo has absolutely no meaning, and it's just uh, ornamental, and I absolutely adore it. Voila, I didn't really uh, I didn't really clean this one yet. I have to take a shower and everything. My forearm was way easier to clean. Oh, and the lotion I put in there. I'm sorry, I'm doing a little tattoo tattoo thing but you guys i'm into tattoos okay i've been tattooing myself for like 20 years now so where's que je l'ai mise la crème ah elle est là um 
started getting tattoos in 2000, 1999. Wow, 1999 is when I started to get tattoos. Back in my days, because I can say that, <laughs> I think when, whenever you have a date that's 1990-something or 1980-something or 70-something, you can say, back in my days, <laughs> there was no fancy cream, there was no fancy anything. You would put the uh, homeoplasmine, which is the equivalent of the American A&E, I think, you know, that ointment. Now they have tattoo cream and tattoo lotion and tattoo soap and tattoo everything in their mamas. So I don't need all that fancy. I try them, they're fine. But at the end of the day, as far as the tattoo lotion or cream, once my tattoo is healed, I put my own DIY lotion on my tattoo and I get a very good result. But the ointment that I like to use is a Restore from Dr. What's his face? Roger, Dr. Roger. Um, I like this one. This is my ointment that I use whenever I have cracked skin or dryness or whatever, you know, a little something that needs moisture and healing agent to it. Oh my gosh, I'm looking, as I'm holding my camera, I'm looking at my tattoo, it looks so much better than what I had for the past two months, I think, or three months. Okay, I'm, not, I'm talking too, too much, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna take a shower soon, I'm gonna eat something. Hey, boo boo. Hello, mama. Ça va, tu viens dire bonjour? Hello, everybody in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, mon petit cœur, t'as mangé mm -hmm. T'as mis l'assiette la, dans le sink mm -hmm. Attention, les chiens, ils vont le manger, attention. Mm. Luna, elle va manger le syrup et all that, she's gonna get sick. Please go put it oh, in the sink. Day. Okay. All right, let me go get my day started. I will see you before I upload this video to say goodbye. Oh my gosh, it's already 4.36 p.m. Time is going by so fast. I was so busy cleaning downstairs, mopping the floor, and just editing the video. I've been trying to edit for like three hours, but then I was interrupted by my amazing friends from France who called me for like an hour, which I'm not gonna say no to my friends, you know? Like, I'm so happy to talk to them. So, that's that. Um, now, I have to hurry up and finish this because in about an hour and a half, we have to go to some friend's house. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to rush things out, but more than likely this vlog will be out on Sunday, more than Monday. Uh, I still did not do my last macrame and I will do it tonight because it's, it's just, I have to do it. <laughs> I wanted to show it to you, but you know what? I will post it, give me a couple days and I will post it on my website and I will link it, um, I will link it in the description box if you guys want to see what it looks like, if you guys want to order one. I think I already told you that. Um, and then that's that. What else did I want to say? Um, that's it. I think I will see you, not I think, I will see you guys on Friday on my live stream. Uh, this Friday, this coming Friday, which is the first Friday of the month of February. And, um, and I can't wait because I missed you guys. I love our monthly... Um, our monthly live stream it's so much fun i get to interact with you all and it's always good time good vibes um what else you know what i was thinking about doing two vlogs a month instead of one vlog two shorter vlogs instead of one long week vlog so they would be shorter in time also because this is gonna last like 45 minutes i mean i won't I, I'm, I'm gonna cut it as much as possible but it's gonna be a half hour video which is cool if you like wash your dishes and clean up your kitchen while watching YouTube video, which is what I tend to do a lot. I don't know how you guys watch YouTube videos, but unless it's like a tutorial, I have to like do exactly what they're doing or whatnot. I'm just listening and watching and doing other things at the same time. Let me know in the comment sections what you do when you watch long videos or vlogs of stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about doing two videos, two uh, vlogs a month for maybe two or three days at a time. Let me know what you guys think, if that's something that you would like better than one vlog a month. And then voila. All right, my loves, I'm gonna go. I'll see you on Friday. I love you guys. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Obviously, hello. <laughs> Stay happy and healthy. Have a beautiful life. Au revoir.
Et à bientôt. <rire> hey, c'est la vie. <musique>